Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q1 of the weekly contest for nine design uh, neighbors some service. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. This is a Dallas structure problem, or at least a set of the Dallas structure problem. The key thing to realize is that here, uh, all the values are distinct. This is also a little bit of a reading problem, right? So you have to be careful, just read it, keep on reading it. But it has distinct elements, so that, that means that for every value maps to a location. And you can store it in a number of ways. You, could do, um, you know, as long as you have a lookup in a uh, very fast time it should be good but keeping in mind that this is also just 10 by 10 so you don't really have to be that much but do challenge yourself a little bit especially now that the contest is over to make it a little bit more flexible but yeah but you can just do it with a lookup table and then after that it's just about implementing the sum of adjacent elements or a diagonal so we'll go over the code now uh this is how i set up i for every um i set up a lookup so that for every value we we contain the x and the y of the location. Uh, I did end up summing this about three minutes. But yeah, and then the adjacent sum and the diagonal sum are the same. Um, you can probably even abstract this out and just kind of change this thing. But but in any case, yeah. Uh, so what I did is this is the location of the value. I'm going to go over adjacent sum. And this is the dx dy. And if you kind of just look at through this, then the dx di will, this is just uh, negative dx. So this is going to be up, this is down. Um, this is right and this is left, something like that, right? So up, down, left, right. So as long as you get the four directions, that's how I get this. I, I make sure that it is inbound and if it's inbound, then I just add the Soto and that's pretty much it for the adjacent sum. Diagonal is going to look exactly the same except for the DX, DY here. Then now we have four diagonals one at a time. You could kind of just, you know, make sure you enumerate all four and correctly, obviously. Um, and you should, you know, get it. And that's pretty much the idea. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is linear time and linear space due to the lookup, uh, and this is constant time, constant space, uh, and this is this one as well because this is just lookup. This this loops four times and this loops four times, so that's why um, the complexity. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay, uh, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Hey, come on, go go go. Better lucky than good. Oh, double palm again, maybe? A seven and eight pointer, huh? Okay, so you have to be fast on the early ones. Okay. Okay, so you have a thing. Okay, fine. Um... This is such a weird thing, but okay, fine. Oh wait, what? Oh, not just the index. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Are they unique? Yep. Okay, so then now, uh, yeah, whatever, what am I writing this? At least this is not a trivial problem, I guess. That's good.
Okay. Six. Ooh, where? Oh. Uh. Uh, soft oh. Six, sixteen, sixteen, four. 2345 okay let's go 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 okay are they the same problems thanks for watching everybody hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this problem this contest everything in between this explanation i don't know stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye